Hi, I'm Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a glass tile backsplash. Now, glass tile backsplashes come in squares. Tiles are glued to a net backing to keep them all together. And as you can see, the tiles are offset to create a pattern. And when matched up with the other tiles, it looks great. Now, to get started, make sure your wall is as smooth as possible. Next, start planning out the tile install, which side of the room you're gonna start on, and look at what obstacles you'll encounter, such as varying heights of the upper cabinets, outlets, corners, and so on. For this backsplash, we're starting behind the oven, and we'll work right to left. Measure the distance from the bottom to top. Since the tiles don't come in perfect squares, you'll need to cut them to have a straight line on one side to start. To cut glass tiles, I recommend using a wet saw with a proper blade. A wet saw works in a similar fashion to a table saw, except you need to fill a reservoir with water to keep the saw cool. Mark off where you'd like to cut the tile and slowly feed the tile through the saw. Once you have your first tiles ready, it's time to mix up the mortar. Read and follow the instructions on the package to get the correct mixture. I find it saves a lot of time to use a drill mixer to mix up the mortar, and the mixture should be the consistency of a thick cake batter once done. Now, once mixed properly, spread a thin layer of mortar on the wall using a notched trowel to create lines in the mortar. Take the pieces you cut with the wet saw and fit them into place. The mortar will hold them to the wall. And once your first pieces are in place, start fitting the next pieces. Measure the gap between the tiles on the pieces and then fit the next tile using the same gap. Use spacers between the tiles to help to keep them in place until you're ready to grout. Continue this process as you go across the wall. And when you encounter obstacles such as a wall outlet, you can remove individual tiles and then put them back in later. Measure the outlet and remove the tiles that would cover the space. You can cut the backing with a utility knife or scissors. And once the tile is in place, measure the distance the tile has to cover to reach the outlet. Remember to leave space for the gap between the tiles and then take the individual tiles to be cut at the wet saw. And once you cut them to the proper length, replace the tiles where they fit, making sure they line up evenly. When at the corner, cut the tiles to have a straight edge and leave the proper gap between the tiles for the grout. Now, if your backsplash ends where there's no wall edge, you'll have to install a tile edger. These edgers are made of metal or plastic. Draw a straight line from the edge of the cabinets to the end of the countertop. Then measure from the countertop to the line you just drew. Cut the edgers with a 45 degree angle where they'll meet and then place the edgers over the mortar. Now to hold them in place, you may need to use a screw inside one of these holes. Then fit the tile into the space. Be sure to cut the tile to have a straight edge. Once all the pieces have been fitted into place and the spacers have been placed, allow the mortar to set. For setting times, be sure to read the directions on the adhesive you're using. Then, once the tiles are set into place, you can remove the spacers and it's time to do the grouting. Grout fills in the gaps between the tiles and sets a waterproof barrier. To get started, wash the tiles with water and mild soap. For this project, we chose a pre-mixed grout that is for glass tiles. Check with your local Ace Hardware and they can help you choose the proper grout for your project. Apply the grout using a trowel. Make sure to fill in all of the gaps and work section by section, applying the grout and then using a damp sponge to wipe off the excess and dry with a towel. Continue this process for all your tiles and once you finish with the grout, you're done. Coming up next, my video on how to use a wet saw.